I chose to watch videos from Speed. Then I watched the entire pediatric cardiology videos alone. It's very vast, but it's very beautifully explained. And from that only, I have gained a lot of knowledge about cardiology that I can firmly say. Like very starting from the basics to whatever questions can be asked, we can actually crack them. And I have revised the notes multiple times before going for the exam and I have given some grant tests also. So that is also is very helpful for the exam. Thanks to Speed from where we, I have learned pediatric cardiology from the rules, basics and all. Doctor, I bring in all the wishes and greetings and behalf of all the faculty members and team of Speed to Dr. Veena for scoring a topmost rank of rank number one in DM pediatric cardiology. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great, Doctor, to have you in the session today. And thanks for your time. And also, we want to know a detailed background history from where you started till date. What have you done? Yes, I, I did uh, actually my UG from Ames Raipur. And then I, I am currently doing my post-graduation from Jipmal Pediatrics, MD Pediatrics. I finished my exams. I am about to pass out. And uh, I love cardiology since I joined MD. Then I wanted to pursue cardiology only further. So I chose pediatric cardiology. Then accordingly, I prepared for it. For the exams. Very good, doctor. Great. Now, can we know uh, what was your preparation strategy? How uh, I think you are been all through the institute from Ames to Jipmer, and now again you will be in an institute only. And uh, so that uh, your uh, learning perspective and learning style, and I mean with the aim that you are in, uh, we really appreciate that. And also, we want to know what strategies did you follow uh, to achieve the country's topmost rank today. Thank you, sir. First of all, I would like to thank God for giving me this opportunity and I want, I would like to thank my parents, especially without them, I am nothing and my family and friends. My preparation from pediatric cardiology began when I loved and I have decided uh, firmly that I am going to become a pediatric cardiologist only. That is like in the second year. I would like to thank Dr. Avina, sir. He is the pediatric cardiologist in Jipmer currently. He is the one who has recognized my passion towards pediatric cardiology. Even though I didn't ask him, sir has asked me that I am interested in it and sir has helped me a lot how to prepare for it. Sir gave me contacts of who has already cracked them. So I spoke to the person who has already cracked them, who is currently doing DM in name stilly. And uh, sir has told me to read this kind of books, how to prepare and all. So then I, I chose to watch videos from speed then I watched entire pediatric cardiology videos alone. It's very vast, but it's very beautifully explained. And from that only, I have gained a lot of knowledge about cardiology that I can firmly say. Like very, very starting from the basics to whatever questions can be asked, we can actually uh, crack them. And I have revised the notes multiple times before going for the exam. And I have given some grant tests also. So that is also is very helpful for the exams. And also I am preparing for this, uh, uh, my MD final exams. So general pediatrics also has been covered in that uh, final exam preparation. So it was uh, uh, good, sir. Great, doctor. You are uh, I mean, in a PG program and right now, and how much of time you are able to dedicate for this and how long you have been doing it? I am not able to dedicate much time like solely for prepare, preparation because I will be having duties. I, I have to manage ward patients. I have to manage all my duties along with my, manage my residency and along with I have to prepare simultaneously. So I am I was able to give hardly some two to four hours per day to read. That is also very few days in a week I will be giving. And after uh, when I, I thought only two seats will be there. So I thought it will be very difficult for me. So when I saw four seats, so I thought, okay, I should really prepare well and uh, and I should get into it. So then I take taken it seriously. Great, doctor. Uh, totally, uh, how many questions did you attend this exam? I answered 79 questions out oh. of eight. Great. How many questions were from pediatric cardiology superficiality and how many questions were from general pediatrics or nursing based? Around 50 to 60 are from pediatric cardiology, sir, and 20 to 30 are from general pediatrics. That will be common to all other specialties also. Great. Now, what will be your advice for uh, the future aspirants of pediatric cardiology? I mean, whoever is aspiring, the first thing they should have is like passion towards the subject, which whichever they are taking. 
if they are like really passionate about it and they are sure that they want this field only then only they should go for it because it's our lifetime we will be doing that only lifetime after that if they are really passionate and they want this only they can go ahead with the, uh, a video platform teaching platform they can and they can practice on uh, uh, multiple grants question bank and main thing is uh, they they can they have to read path in and out from page 1 to last page it's just a 500 page book after uh, going through videos after going to trade notes they'll have an idea and then if they go back and read the textbook it will become very easier for them and some topics like uh, uh, fetal cardiology brugada syndrome long qt syndrome those can be read in moss and adams textbook that's also given very nicely other than this nothing else is required sir. and uh, main thing is uh, do attend clinical rounds do manage do learn general pediatrics very well because 30 questions out of 30 to 40 questions will be from general pediatrics that will be very rank decided that can be if you just attend clinical rounds manage patients well you will be easily able to crack those 30 40 questions very easily nothing no other separate preparation is required great doctor now uh, time to thank and whom all you want to thank you can uh use this platform to do so yes sir i would like to thank especially my, gone through a lot of trouble struggles and then still didn't give up on me and i would like to thank all my friends who has believed in me more than myself and actually i they believed in me more than my side told like it will be very difficult for me to get into but they are like we only will get into don't worry Be- very supportive and i would like to thank especially dr avinash sir he was like uh, he was always behind me he believed in me more than myself like i i would like to really thank uh, avinash sir and uh, that's all sir. and whoever is there which are in my journey so many people has helped me from school days onwards they have helped me financially emotionally whoever helped me i would like to thank everyone great hey, doctor we wish you okay. once again all the very best and all the success for your great journey as a dm pediatric cardiologist and thank you, you thank you so much and your dedication special and, thank you to speed from where we i have learned pediatric cardiology from the roots basics and all. thank you thank you so much most 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 happy doctor and thanks thank for your time again once again and wish you a thank great you. career ahead for you in pediatric cardiology all the best thank you thank you so much thank you.